What do I know for sure? Um, I like quotes, and there's a big long one but the, that I used to have in my office wall, but, it, but, but the bottom line talks about did you do this and did you do that, and did, but the bottom line of it is, have you made a positive impact in somebody's life? And it may not be that I've made a positive impact in thousands of people's lives, but I know I've done enough things that there are some people that I could say or, or that would say of me that I've made a positive impact in their lives, and I think that's what I know for sure, and I think that's a good thing. We don't know anything for sure. I, I've learned to live that you enjoy each day, and uh, that's all you, you know you have is the time that you have now. So as, as your time goes on, enjoy each day, because what does tomorrow bring? That's not to be negative, but, but uh, we sometimes want to think into the future, or we want to think into the past. I think we have to think into the now uh, and plan for the future, but, uh, but um, enjoy the time you have. I know for sure that I'm living here today in a wonderful city. I got a great family and I got a great bunch of friends and I know that for sure. I know for sure that every day is an absolute gift to be thankful for, to take part in, and just be glad that it happened. The only thing I know for sure is anything that has happened in the past and is solid, I know that for sure. Uh, anything coming into the future, we think we know it for sure, but it hasn't happened yet. So it's just anything that is solid that we can handle, we can see, we know that for sure. I know that I've found my niche. That's it. I know that I am where I'm supposed to be right now. Uh, nothing. Nothing is certain, nothing is constant, and you have to roll with the punches as sometimes as difficult as they can be. But again, with the, sort, uh, with the support of, of my spouse uh, and our togetherness, we've got through a lot of things and we intend to get through a lot more. So life is completely uncertain. Uh, I don't know when it's going to end, <laughs> but we're all going to die. And that's the only thing certain, I guess. So we just make the best of what we've got now. And uh, with the support of our family and friends uh, and community, and the groups that uh, we've been involved with, volunteer groups, uh, helping other people, we've done that all of our lives. And that's what makes life good. It's, sometimes I think it's a little selfish because I get more out of than whatever I volunteered. And I kind of, at first, would feel a little guilty about that. Uh, the persons or persons would uh, be happy for the help. I, if I was in scouting for years, my wife was, and the guides, uh, a member of the Knights of Columbus for 32 years, and all volunteer uh, work. Uh, that's, that's what's important in life. We're put here, I believe, uh, to help other people. May not be appropriate or popular, but I believe in God and so does my wife. And that's what sustained us very much, very much so. And when I was eight years old, I was a Cub Scout here in Marysville. And one of the first things I learned when I was eight years old was to do a good turn to someone every day. Our cub master used to ask us before every meeting, what did you do since the last meeting? And that still sticks with me. And uh, every, every day is, is wonderful, whether it's good or bad, doesn't matter. I'm not done, I'm here today, but I don't know about tomorrow. So you do the best you can, you know? to show the love that you have for them like they would for us, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just the type of people that love everybody. 
And uh, so if you show it to those people, I think they would make them feel good. What do I know for sure? I know that we are all, everybody, everything, the two-legged, the four-legged, the crawlers, the swimmers, the flyers, we are all connected in the web of life. And what we do in the physical world affects the spiritual world also. And, you know, we're all, we're all related somehow on our, and each of us have our own stories to tell on our earth walks. Some are great, some are sad. And, you know, share the stories, bring up the teachings within the stories. And I'm above ground, take my life one day at a time. What I know for sure is that I'm sitting in this chair at this very moment and um, I'm talking to you. And that, that ties back to, to that living well, um, being in the moment. I'm only sure about this moment. I can plan for the future. I can reminisce about the past, but I cannot go backwards and I cannot go forward. So while I am planning, and, and doing all of that, not to be a slave to that, but to, to be here, and that is what I know for sure. I know a lot of things, and some of them I'm sure are both than others. Uh, what I know for sure is that it, uh, it contributes to positive emotional and mental and possibly physical health if we feel uh, accepted and if we feel appreciated and if we feel that uh, um, we don't have to hide our stories, however difficult our stories might be, that someone somewhere will be uh, open to listening to our stories and helping us express them and help us to find the wisdom that's, that that's lies in our stories. And maybe that's the thing I know for sure, is that every story uh, has wisdom in it. Gary Kenyon and I wrote a book years ago called Ordinary Wisdom. And that was our basic hypothesis, is that, uh, is that wisdom is not something reserved for gurus in caves or saints in, that live in monasteries somewhere, but we all have wisdom and it resides in our own unique stories. And it behooves us, particularly as we get older, to therefore tell our stories, reflect upon our stories, and share whatever wisdom is in our stories with others. Well, I live alone and um, I know that there are difficulties with living alone, with solitude, but I also know there are positive things to living alone. You have freedom, you have independence, you have simplicity in the sense that you have lack of complications. So uh, there could be bad, there are bad things about solitude, but there are also good things. That's it. Those are the main things, okay. Basically, it's nature. I was really fortunate to grow up on this little utopia of a farm. We had all the animals and the haying and the hard work and stuff, but we also had the hay mouse to play in and the fields to romp around in and the brook to fall in and things like that. And because I grew up there, that sustains me all the time. If I get um, out of sorts or lose myself sometimes, uh, nature always brings me back. I found my inner life there as a child. I found this endless curiosity about life and became quite entranced with living, the very idea of living and who I am living in this world, in this body, as a human being. And so, I 
think exploring life sustains me. This, the things I find out about myself and life in the very living of it, I guess that's really it. I'm just curious and I want to know why this is happening and that's all there is to that and I'm going to suss it out and somehow in all those years of growing up I got attitude which sustains me also and I know myself and I know what I need and I go about to make it happen as well as possible. That sustains me, that makes me well and my spiritual beliefs, my own philosophy gained from experience, what I've learned from other people, be an observer, that's it. I would say what I know for sure is that everything I'm doing in my life right now is going to lead me to doing something great. Since I came to New Brunswick, I'm originally from Labrador. Um, I've gotten involved with a lot of different um, organizations and different work, and I think it's really helping me to validate the career choice that I want, which is to be a social worker. So I just feel like everything I'm doing right now, even though sometimes I'm super busy between volunteering school and work, that that's all going to lead me to the career that I'm super passionate about. I guess the one thing I know for sure, the one thing I know for sure is that uh, I don't know a whole lot, so the world's pretty vast and I'm excited to learn it all. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just coming out of St. Thomas uh, University and, um, and while it's like over, um, I guess I'm just not, I'm just kind of realizing uh, everything else that there is out there and yeah, so I'm, yeah. I'm excited, I guess. <laughs> so what I know for sure is that the world is changing. Uh, the world is becoming a place where people are not caring about each other as much anymore. There was a time when you could walk down the street and know your neighbors and, and be a part of a community, and now that's all changing. Uh, for sure, I know that there will be a, a change, and hopefully there will be a change soon, but the world is becoming a very, very different place from when I was a kid to when my parents were a kid. And so what I know for sure is that with good people, things will change. Ling, what do you know for sure? I don't know anything. You sure? I'm sure. I'm so sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's the thing you know. Yeah, that's the thing you know, you're shy. I know I don't know anything for sure, um, but a few things that I'm pretty sure about are that I want to stay in Fredericton because I really like it here. I've seen my parents go through their whole lives here, raise families. Um, now they're in retirement age, they're facing some health struggles. As an ex-gerontology student, I want to do everything in my power to make their journey going forward uh, smoother. And not only them, everyone. Um, because aging is inevitable and not in a bad way. It's just I think people think of it as a separate thing, like that's not going to happen to me. But it's, it really gets brought home when health concerns and, and you know needing to change housing and things like that, it, it really, it makes you realize we've got to work together better in this community to make aging a better experience. I, I want to age and enjoy it. I don't want to, I don't want to be griping all the time. So that's what I know I'm pretty sure about. Pretty sure we have to improve aging experience. <laughs> You've probably had a lot of people answer nothing. Uh, uh, but what I do know for sure is that I love my life and I love the people in my life and I want to have as and has that have as enriching a life as I possibly can. I do know that for sure um, and that motivates me. I find enrichment now Enrichment, spiritual enrichment, and 
kind of existential enrichment is a lot more important to me now than financial enrichment because, well, in our business, that's, that's, a, <laughs> that's hard to come by, you know? But when you, when you spend a lot of time thinking about your life and dealing with it and, and your friends and the things they go through, for example, Bob Miller and I are great old friends and uh, we met the night Ian was born. So there's a real connector there too. And watching Bob go through some of his stuff. But for me, uh, what I know for sure is that I love my life and I love all the people in it. Yeah, so what I know for sure is that things never stay the same. That is for sure. It's like, even when you're happy, you know, it's, you gotta take a minute and smell the roses. Just stop time and take it in because, you know, that great moment or that perfect moment may not last and it won't last. Something will change, something will shift. But you know, the same, t same thing goes for when you're really feeling down. It's just, you know, if you can just, you know, I just remember that this will, this too shall pass, my mother always used to say. And so that's what I know for sure, is that no matter what is going on, good or bad, <clears throat> it, uh, it's gonna change. That's what I know for sure.